In this video, you will learn how to track events when a visitor clicks on a phone number on your website. And we'll do that with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel. If you're new here, I teach people how to work with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. So if you want to stay up to date with Google Tag Manager, consider subscribing. It is very common to have clickable phone numbers on websites. If a visitor clicks them with the smartphone, then the phone app will be automatically opened. If they do that with the desktop, then the behavior depends on what kind of applications are installed on your device. Anyway, this is definitely something that you can track with Google Tag Manager. Let me show you how to send these events to Google Analytics 4. To get started, first you have to go to the variables section of your Google Tag Manager interface. And here in the built-in variables section, you should check whether you have enabled click variables. In my case, I don't see any click variables, so I should click on configure and then scroll down until I see the click variables. Enable them one by one by clicking these checkboxes. Then you can close it and then it's time to go to the triggers section. Here you have to make sure that you have at least one link click trigger created in your container. There are some nuances when it comes to link click tracking in Google Analytics 4, but right now let's not focus on them. Instead, in the triggers section, click new, and then click anywhere on trigger configuration, and then select just links. Let's leave this trigger unchanged right now, and it will fire on all link clicks. And then let's name this trigger all link clicks, then click save. Now let's enable the preview mode and check if we start seeing some click events and their data. So click preview button right here, then a new tab will open and it will ask you to enter the URL of the website where your phone number is present. So enter the URL right here, click connect, and then in a new tab or a new window, depending on your setup, your website will be opened. If I click this link on a desktop, then this window pops up. If you have some additional application on your desktop, then maybe it will be opened. But in my case, this is what appears. And if I browsed this website with my mobile device, then after tapping on this link, a phone app would be opened in my device. So once I click this link, let's check what we will see in the preview mode. So I click the link and then I go to the preview mode and I will see the link click event. Let's click it and then go to variables. Let's check what kind of data do we have about that link click. So in my case, click classes variable is empty. Click element is too complex in this case. Then click ID has nothing, click target nothing. However, now I see the click URL variable and it contains the actual phone number. And in front of that number, we see tell. Every phone number, which is properly coded on a website, starts with this, which is tell and colon. So what we could do here is that we can instruct Google Tag Manager to track all link clicks where click URL starts with tell and colon. Because if I click on some other regular link, then you will see that its URL starts with HTTPS or HTTP, depends on the website. Then, for example, if I click on this link that opens an email app on my device, then that link starts with mail to. So if we want to narrow down just to phone number clicks, then we should be looking for links where click URL starts with tell and semicolon. So let's update our trigger in Google Tag Manager. Go to Tag Manager, Triggers, and let's open that all link clicks trigger that we have recently created. Click it, and then instead of all link clicks, we should select some link clicks. And then we have to enter some condition that will help us to track not all link clicks, but only phone number clicks. So click right here and then find click URL variable. Then you can switch to starts with and then enter tell and colon. Now let's rename this trigger, which is let's say link click phone number and save it. Now we have to create a tag that will send this event to Google Analytics 4. So let's go to tags. In this tutorial, I presume that you already have installed Google Analytics basic setup on your website. And that is done by having Google Analytics 4 configuration tag created. If you are completely new to Google Analytics 4, then I will post a link below this video to the tutorial where I explain the basic setup on how to create GA4 configuration tag, how to launch it, and how to publish that setup with Google Tag Manager. Anyway, let's create the GA4 event tag. So while I'm in tags section, click new, then tag configuration, and then select GA4 event. Here in the configuration tag field, I have to select my existing GA4 configuration tag. From this configuration tag, 
my event tag will take certain settings. For example, the measurement ID of the property to which I should send this event. And then we have to name this event. In this case, Google Analytics is quite flexible. So you can enter something like phone number click or phone click or number click or call click or click to call like whatever you want. Just don't enter the name that is too long. And then you can click event parameters and let's send some additional data together with this event. Click add row. And here we have to enter parameter name and value. Now let's go to the preview mode and check what kind of information is useful for us to send to Google Analytics 4. In my opinion, it would be valuable to know which phone number was clicked because maybe there are multiple phone numbers available on your website. So let's say that we want to send the value of this click URL variable. And in this example, the output will be this text. So let's go back to Google Tag Manager interface and let's enter the parameter name. Again, in this case, Google Analytics is quite flexible, but let's say that I will enter the value, which is link URL, because there are some automatically tracked events by Google Analytics 4 that also use this very same parameter name. So link underscore URL. And in the value field, let's insert the variable. Click on this button and then find click URL. So the tag configuration is done. Now we have to set when do we want this tag to fire. And luckily we have already created that trigger. So click anywhere or on this pencil and then select link click phone number event. Then let's name this tag. I usually do it like that, GA4 event and then the actual event name. So I will just copy it from here and then paste it right here. Click save. Now the time has come to test everything. So click preview to refresh the preview mode and then you will see this loader and eventually the page will reload. Now let's click on this phone number. I will click it, then I will go to the preview mode and click this link click event. And I see that my tag has fired. However, we are not done yet. We have to make sure that this event has reached the final destination, which is Google Analytics 4. So let's go to Google Analytics and then scroll down on the left sidebar and keep looking for debug view. And here is my event, which is phone number click. By the way, keep in mind that Google Analytics 4 is heavily developed and it constantly changes. So if you cannot find the debug view right here, it is still somewhere here. Maybe it is a bit hidden. Maybe it was moved under certain menu item, but just keep looking, you will find it. So here I see the phone number click event. I can click it and we see some automatic tracked parameters, but also we see the link URL that we passed manually. So click it and here is the value that is the exact same value of the click URL variable right here. Then within 24 hours, you will start seeing your phone number click event in the events section on the sidebar. Keep in mind that this event will not appear immediately. You have to be patient. Also, if you plan to use this link URL parameter in your reports, for example, in analysis hub, you should register this parameter as a custom dimension. And you can do that by going to custom definitions, and then click create custom dimension. Here you can enter the name of the dimension. For example, how would you like to name it in your report? So for example, link URL sounds fine. Then keep the scope as event. And in the event parameter field, you should enter link text. If you don't see the suggestion, don't worry, enter it anyway and click save. And then within 24 hours after you have created this dimension, it will start appearing in the interface of GE4 and you will be able to use that in places like Analysis Hub. And one more quick bonus tip. So for example, if you have some links that open email apps on your visitors devices, for example, right here, you will notice that those links start with mail to. In that case, you can create another just links trigger that will be looking for clicks where click URL starts with mail to. And for that, you could then create another GA4 event tag where the event name could be email link or I don't know, something else that you like. And that is how you can track phone number clicks with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics 4. Also, do not forget to register that phone number parameter as a custom dimension in Google Analytics 4. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.